Is yeah. it a disappointment to you, Horwat, if P.O. Joseph is not in the opening night lineup for the Pittsburgh Penguins next season? I think I would have said yes last year. But seeing the logjam we have and just how set in his ways Ron Hextall might be, mm-hmm. I don't think I'd be disappointed. I'd just – obviously you want to see it, but it's also the opening night roster. Um, I think I would be. I think I would be because mm-hmm. – he does need to get his NHL playing time eventually. We've yeah. been saying that for a long time. Mm-hmm. I know we've seen him in the league. I know we've seen him play before. We've seen him play at a high level before. We've seen him play first line before. Mm-hmm. It's frightening. So he has the experience. I think it is time to give him his full due. Uh, yeah, I think I'd be disappointed. But it's it's a disappointment I think I'd get over quickly. But uh, it's one that I do. But it's something I do want to see in the very near future for him is, is Pio Joseph in this lineup regularly. Yeah. Cause we know he can do it. A lot of the guys and there are a lot of RFAs in the minors, but a lot of guys down there still need new contracts. But again, RFA signings should be easy for minor leaguers. Am I right guys? You would think so. But I think the biggest thing for me is it, to me, it would be a massive disappointment. I know he's young and he is currently not under contract. They're going to have to resign him, but he hasn't really done anything in the NHL. So it's not like he's going to command too much money. He's only 22 years old, which I get is very young for a defenseman, but for a league in which young defensemen are starting to take over and for how good he is. I mean, I wanted to get the video. I wasn't able to because of just time constraints. Chris Letang mentioned him and brought him up in his end of season press conference without being prompted at all. He said, you know, there's a lot of good young guys here like P.O. Joseph who are going to need to start making an impact soon. And that's nothing against P.O. Joseph because he's been great in the minor leagues. He was good, as you mentioned, in the times we saw him in the NHL. He only played four games for the Pittsburgh Penguins last year at the NHL level. Zero points, but in a small sample size, 63.95 expected goals percentage at five on five. That is fantastic in a small sample size. 13 to 10 in high danger chances for, and that's while being deployed as the third pairing defenseman alongside a guy like Chad Ruedel, who's been great, but again, not where P.O. Joseph is normally going to be deployed if he's a full-timer in the National Hockey League. So I would be uh, very disappointed if P.O. Joseph is not on that opening day roster. Like I said, I'm not going to sit there and sulk about it if he's not, but we saw it last season. The opening night roster is for experimentation of young guys. I would like to see Drew O'Connor, Valtteri Pusinen, and P.O. Joseph make that roster despite whoever the Penguins bring in because, one, they need to see what they have in these guys. These guys have all played in the NHL, Pustin in only one game, but all have that ability and haven't been given the opportunity. I want to see all three of them get that opportunity at the beginning of next season, specifically POJ. Yeah, and I know it's I know it's the AHL, but man, in 61 games last season, you had 33 points. You had <laughs> five points in six games in the postseason. I mean, I know he's not a replacement for Chris Letang. Nobody is. Let's get that straight. But that's pretty close to the next best thing, especially when he's only 22 years old. And a defenseman, yeah. mind you. This is a, this, in the AHL, yes. But it's a defenseman putting up points. And Latang Le, may have mentioned it. Sure, it may have just been one French Canadian to another. But guess what? That is your top defenseman of all time in your franchise, putting his faith into someone else. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. And what's interesting is that he, like you mentioned, he's 22. I can remember going to the rookie camp last season and seeing two other defensemen that I thought really could have a chance in the NHL. They're both two and three years older than him. Yeah. So their chances is much slimmer in Cam Lee, who's 25 and Will Riley, who's 24, but still, I think P.O. Joseph still jumps over both of those guys, despite them being older. Would I like to see all three of those names here playing in the NHL eventually? Sure. Absolutely. But slim pickings on defense especially now yeah if someone's got to go it's gonna be p.o joseph to me so the more we discuss it the more yes the more upset i'm gonna be if he's not in the opening night roster so way to talk me into it uh, <laughs> it's his time 